like 24 hours plus an hour, so 25 hours late doing this recipe. So I'm hopefully the uh, food hasn't gone off by the time I make this. Um, so yeah, I've, um, how are we all doing, guys? Hopefully we're all well. Should let you know tomorrow is Haps Grill Day. So Haps Grills, Haps Chills, I'll be starting the broadcast at officially 9 a.m. Um, Eastern time. So please make sure to to um, come on at that time and um, I will be cooking live. I'm going to be making an ice cream cake, as you're all aware. Went to get the ingredients today. And then I'm going to be making a um, just a normal English brunch. So hopefully you can join me for that. Um, now, there's a few comments that come out. I don't need to read the comments, but um, Ash said awesome. Um, hello, Martin. Thanks. For, I saw your message earlier. You sent a message, didn't you? Now, just bear with me one second, guys. One second. Because it is Friday, happy Friday, everybody. I've had a few of these, so um, cheers, everybody. <laughs> I've had a little bit too many, but I was like, do I come on live or not? Do I bother? I thought, well, why not? Why not? It's got to be eaten. It's got to be used up. So cheers, everybody. Let me know how the connection is. Is it good out of 10? Remember, you can send awards, guys. That's the best thing, perhaps. You can give awards to your favourite broadcasters. Hint, hint. <laughs> so cheers everybody oh so nice ah anyway should we get on to the cooking let me know how the connection is because i don't know how the connection is last week's um well this week's i, I did like how many recipes three recipes and no I did five recipes and three of the five recipes whenever i came live the connection wasn't the best and i'm so sorry for that everybody that is partly my fault because where I have my camera set up is the uh, connection. I can put you on the window, but my phone's going to go flat. Now, if I unplug my phone, there's a chance tonight you won't see any of the broadcasts. So we're going to leave you there for now and see what happens. If you get a notification, brilliant. So, yeah, tomorrow, Hap Grills and Chills, 9 o'clock, I will be coming live. Oops. 9 o'clock, I'll be coming live. And um, we're going to be doing, I'm going to be making brunch. Okay, so I'm really well, thank you, Martin. It's very humid, it's very warm. Like tomorrow, it's going to be even, tomorrow's going to be a little bit warm, I think. And then Sunday, it's going to be even hotter than, than what it is right now. So um, it's been interesting watching tomorrow. So, what are you going to need then for this one then? This is a Thai style yellow beef meatball curry with charred courgettes and jasmine rice. Now, it says it takes 40 minutes to cook. I think it'd be a lot, a lot less than that. Excuse me. Excuse me. With HelloFresh, you get all the ingredients in the bag. So you get all the ingredients sent to you. You can currently get £23 off, making three meals for two, £6.99, which is a bargain. Now, I don't even know if you can hear me or not because it says the connection's poor. Um, so £6.99 if you sign up to HelloFresh UK. There's $40 off if you're in the United States. So go and get your discount. You don't even have to keep that. A lot of people worry about the discount. They say, right, we'll get a discount or through the subscription. That's what the, that's the biggest worry, I think, people, is they think if they give the details over, you're going to get charged every month. You don't if you cancel it. OK, so get your discount, sign up, get your discount, get your free food or discount box, because I don't know how much it costs for food in your country or wherever you're watching me from. Get your discount. Um, and then cancel it. You don't have to have it, but cancel it and at least opt at least try it once, you know, and give it a go. Now, some people don't like HelloFresh. Some people like EveryPlay. Some people like other boxes because there's so many out there. But this is the reason why they do them, because a lot of companies, you know, do these offers so that you can try them. So uh, hello, Brinda. Is that Brinda from um, is that Brinda Brinda from um who's cooking tomorrow are you watching me on uh, twitch or is that somebody else there's a lot no don't know many brinders that's all so mine says i'm a good chef i am well i'm a good cook yeah i like to think so let me know how long have you been watching me on um on here have you never watched me before because <laughs> i've done quite a lot of broadcasts knowledge is in the house hello knowledge how are you doing my friend so hopefully watching gonna watch me tomorrow gonna watch well not just me watch everybody we've got 12 broadcasters that includes myself coming live tomorrow, nine o'clock 
British um, uh, Eastern Time. Watch us live, 12 hours non-stop, different recipes. You're going to love it. It's going to be really good. So let's get on to this tonight's cooking. <laughs> I was in two minds whether to come on or not. I must be mad. You must think I'm mad. But let's let's go with it then. So what you're going to need for this recipe, everything should be in the bag. Although, because I've had this, um, I've had this bag for nearly a week now, it's not really fresh. Um, you did watch me on uh, in Periscope. I thought you did. I thought you did, Martin. Well, welcome to Haps. You can send awards and you hit the little star at the bottom. Uh, you can purchase awards and you can send them to me <laughs> if you want to. You don't have to. That is not compulsory in any way. But if you like the broadcast, you can share out, subscribe. You can sponsor if you like uh, my broadcast. I do. Have, I've, got, I've got a sponsor. I sponsor Alexis. Um, so um, do sponsor people. I think it's important. Keeps the app alive as well. So first of all, we've got a courgette. Now, let me know if you ever had a courgette before. So we've got a courgette. Let me just give this a wash. We should wash our veg, shouldn't we? It is Brenda. Uh, not on Twitch. Did I say Twitch? No. What did I say? I said something else, didn't I? I figured out what I'm doing now on my recipe. Awesome, Brenda. Thank you. Lovely. Let me know what you're doing. Well, actually, put a post up on hat. Everybody that's taking part tomorrow, put a post up. Let everybody know what time you're coming live, even though we've got the schedule. I need to still upload the uh, the new schedule for tomorrow. So a quick update, I should let you know in short. Because Darby was meant to come on at 5 o'clock, but she can't do it. So Alexis is going to come on at 5 o'clock instead. And then I'm going to come on at 4 o'clock as well as 9 o'clock to finish the ice cream cake but that will be 9 p.m uk time now there's a big difference between gmt and bst so gmt is usually winter time british summer time starts from march so we're currently british summer time so there's a lot of americans still don't grasp british summer time and i don't understand why you've never heard of british summer time before i can't it's gmt plus one so we're five hours in front of Eastern time, if that makes sense to you. So anyway, Thai style beef curry is what we're doing tonight. So in here, we've also got some uh, fragrant jasmine rice. Uh, I, I, um, you support Leeds United, don't you? I do support Leeds United, yes. I wouldn't support any other team, to be honest with you, because, um, well, why would you? You know, Leeds are the best team in the world. They certainly are the best team in the world. They just had a very hard time for the last 16 years. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, you're back on Haps. Hello, Brenda. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you're doing, Brenda, tomorrow. Let me know how the connection is because it keeps going funny. I don't get it. I really don't get it. But I'll spin you around in a minute so you can see what I'm doing. This might take like an hour, this broadcast. What else have we got in here? We've got some Thai spice blend. Thai spice blend. And remember to send awards, guys. <laughs> We've got a uh, lime. We've got a lime. Okay, what else have we got in here? We've got a um, a shallot. A shallot. I don't know why I keep thinking of shallot for some reason. You know, like a shallot potato. Weird. Okay, uh, what else have we got in here this bag? We've got some breadcrumbs. We've got some breadcrumbs. We've also got some uh, rich and creamy coconut milk. So rich and creamy coconut milk. Okay, I'd play some music, but I don't think Haps would allow me to. Um, I'd love to play music, but I can't. And then we've also got some, uh, what's this? Yellow Thai style paste, 45 grams. Okay, and then we've also got, we've got a carrot. Mm. And we've got a little spring onion. Now, I'm going to swap these. I have these in the fridge, so I'm going to swap these over, because these are not looking too good. So, um uh, Let's swap them over and get some fresh. Well, they're not fresh, but much, much better. I think that one's better, don't you? Which one, which would, which one would you prefer? Number one or number two? I think number two is better. Okay, let's get a carrot. So we've got a carrot. So right, I'm going to unplug you. I'm going to move you to the other side because I think the connection's... It's charged up a little bit. Oh, oh God. Are we still all right, the connection? Out of 10, how is the connection? Out of 10, how is the connection? Oh, I've got another one. Yeah, number two. I thought so. <laughs> uh, and I've got some chicken stock paste. Chicken stock paste. 
So that's everything in the bag. Okay, let's get rid of the bag. Okay, how's the connection out of 10, guys? Is it okay? And the reason I'm asking is because when I come live tomorrow, oh, is it a seven? Okay. Um, right, let me move you. If it goes off, then we'll come back on. But okay, how's the connection now? How's the connection now? Is that any better? Is that any better? Let me know in the in the in the chat box. So let's wash the carrot. Okay, so we've got our carrot and we've got our spring onion. So what I'm going to do is follow this recipe. So this is what you do whenever you buy HelloFresh. You get a recipe card and um, this is what we're making. And then you follow the recipe on the back. Okay. So first thing we're going to do then is half peel and thinly slice the shallots. So you can have maybe like um, a little prop or something. Oops, my bolts are wet now. Okay, so we're going to half peel and thinly slice the shallot. So this is the shallot here. Connection's better. Thanks, Martin. Okay, so we're going to get a knife. And then we're going to chop the ends off just like this. And I cut this in half. I'm going to peel the skin, get this um, onion out. Can you all see this okay, hopefully? And I'll have you up there tomorrow. And then I'm going to be using my George Foreman grill. Look, I've got the sausages ready for tomorrow. Look, this is what we're going to be using. I've got some sausages, got some bacon. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So, so what we're going to do then is thinly slice the shallot, remove the ends from the carrot. So let's, in fact, I'm going to use my dicer because I like to use this because it makes sure that everything's cooked evenly. Okay, so I've got the blades. Let's change these over just like that, so they're more in squares. Oops. Get that way. I'm going to pop these on just like that and push this through. What I like about this is that it cuts everything nice and evenly. And then what we're going to do is get a bowl, get a bowl or a plate and just pop the onions just like that. Okay, connection's better, yeah, brilliant. So there are onions, nicely chopped up, no messing around. And I'm going to pop these two on the side, get rid of that other carrot and onion because they weren't that great. And then what we're going to do then is remove the ends from the carrot. So chop the ends off. Like that. Okay, and it says um, thin slice into rounds, remove the ends from the courgette. So we're going to cut these into rounds, nice and thin, just like that. And we'll put these on the plate. So if you've got the ingredients, you can go and make this, guys, as well. Okay, so Brenda's saying, ooh, nice. Let's pop all these on the plate. Okay, just like that. Okay, are we good? Are we good, guys? There we go. So I'm going to pop that to one side. So the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to remove the ends from the courgette. So we'll chop off the ends of the courgette. And half it lengthways, so just like that, can you all see that everybody, okay, and then what we're going to do is chop into two centimetre wide strips, so I'm going to chop these into two centimetre wide strips, I think that's right, I think that's right, thank you Brenda for the award, yummy award, thank you so much, that's so nice of you to send the awards. I'm out of awards at the minute. If, you, if I don't send you any awards tomorrow, I do apologise. I actually, uh, I, I did get um, a 500 award. We get 500 points for broadcasting. And I had them, and I had them saved. And I sent them to Andrew in Scotland. So Andrew in Scotland was doing a broadcast. And then the other rest of the points that I had at Coins, I sent them to Anne Rush. Um, and also Swift Beats as well. Because Swift Beats wasn't... Um, um, I think I sent them to him, didn't I? Yeah. 
So um, don't worry. Hello, man. I was just speak. I was just talking about Lee then. Wanna... So uh, let's put all these onto a big plate. Sorry, I'm on a bit late. Okay, we're gonna put all these onto the big plate. Just a little bit easier. So we're doing the courgette. We're doing a, a Thai meatball curry. So uh, we've just chopped these. We've just chopped the courgette up, just like this. Let's put it all on the big plate because then it's all in one place. Okay. I felt my ears burning. You did, Dan. You did. <laughs> So uh, put them to one side. Okay, so next step then, what we're going to do is chop, um, trim and thinly slice the spring onion. So we're going to chop the ends off. Now, some people peel the skins off the spring onion. I'm not going to bother with that. Are we cutting these into um, trim and thinly slice the spring onion? Yeah. So we're just going to chop these up. Are we all looking forward to tomorrow? Are we looking forward to tomorrow? Now, just to make sure everybody knows exactly what time they're on, aren't they? Because I don't want I don't want to be the person that has to say you weren't meant to be on at this time. Because whenever I get the um, so it's important do an event when you know so we know what time you're coming on, even though I'm going to publish the the post you know for the event. So not for the event. What we're we talking about. Here's the spring onion, guys. Let's put that on the plate as well. So that's all chopped up. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're probably asking, do you know, Aidan, what time you're on? <laughs> okay, so next thing we're going to do then, zest and half the lime. So, uh, well, let's zest it first. So I'm going to get some... Uh, I'm going to get a nice zester. Yes, I do know what time I'm on tomorrow. Um, and by the way, your cake, well, you know, the your prep that like you did earlier today looked amazing. So well done. I'm looking forward to seeing it tomorrow. I was tempted to do mine earlier, actually. I thought, should I do the cake now, today, and then have it ready for tomorrow? But I thought, I'll prepare it tomorrow more, tomorrow afternoon and then I'll I'll come live on Sunday and do the rest. So we just want some lemon zest. Just like that. Don't need loads. Look at that. Can you all see that everyone? I'm looking forward to it. It's make or break for me with what I made today as I've never tried. Well this is the thing and it's so hot here and on Sunday it's going to be about maybe 29, 30 degrees. So I reckon uh, the ice cream put, could possibly just melt as I'm actually, uh, I'll take it out of the freezer and it'll just completely melt and it'll all just collapse. But apparently if you put the chocolate on top of the ice cream, it's going to freeze. But that's obviously when the temperatures are not as, um, you know, when, when the temperatures are not as, as hot. So we'll have to see what happens. So <laughs> anything could happen. Okay, so we're taking the lime zest. Let's pop these onto that other small plate that I had. So, uh, look at all that lemon zest. Doesn't that look good? Look at this. Look at that, everyone. Oh, looks good. Take all that off. Okay, pop that to one side. And then we're going to cut the lime. Seems to be taking forever today. Leave it in the freezer for as long as you can. Yeah, I mean, I'm coming live now a little bit earlier because Alexis is doing an hour later than me. So I will be on at 9 p.m. Oops. Sorry, I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Okay, Alexa, you just come live. There's an issue with the YouTube Marketing device. So try restarting me. Unplug both of them, then plug the router back in. Just getting some advice from Alexa. Let's turn her off. All right, Alexa, be quiet. Alexa, be quiet. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear Alexa just come live? That was weird, wasn't it? Okay, so we've cut the lime juice. Right, we're only on step section one. Right, section two. Uh, oh, sorry, zest and half the lime. Heat a frying pan on high heat. And what we're going to do is add the courgette, dry. Yeah, let's 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 heat this up. My gosh, I'm all over the place today. Okay, 
Okay, let's heat this pan up. So turn this on. Should have done that first of all, shouldn't I? So heat, no oils needed. We're going to add the courgette, dry fry until nice and charred. Turn every two minutes. Meanwhile, pour cold water for the rice uh, into a medium saucepan. So let's just move this out of the way. I know! <laughs> Brenda says, shut it, Alexa. Just shut it. <laughs> um, uh, have you heard of uh, Brenda? Have you been watching the news recently? You know who's in the UK at the minute, don't you? Um, pour the cold water for the rice. So we need 300 millilitres of, of water. All right, where's my jug? jug gone? Oh my gosh, I've lost my jug. There it is in front of me. Okay, so 300 millilitres of water. So we're going to put cold water into a sauce, and I don't know if you can see that very well. So in that goes. Um, and then into a medium saucepan with a tight fitting lid. Stir in the jasmine rice. Well, we should switch it on first of all, shouldn't we? Because if we don't switch it on, it's not going to cook, but it doesn't tell you to switch it on. Uh, <laughs> a quarter tablespoon, a teaspoon of salt. So let's put some salt in here. Okay. And then we're going to add the rice, stir in the jasmine rice. You, usually you'd add it once it's starting to boil, but... Just say stir in the rice. And here we've got 150 grams of jasmine rice. Hello Jay, how are you doing? Thanks for coming in. So we're doing the Thai meatball curry. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but we shall see. So we're going to add the rice, just like that. Oops, make sure it's all empty. I do find though a lot of Hello Fresh recipes, they have so much rice. It's like, you know, can't they think of something else? Because rice is cheap. They obviously want to make money, don't they, from selling HelloFresh. But it's, you know, I wish they would do something different. I'm going to put a steamer pot over the top and put the lid over it. And the reason I do that is so it actually um, cooks quicker. Le Creuset is the best pans. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, these are Le Creuset pans. Um, they're not cheap, but um, these are what I use. and. Um, I'm very lucky, let's just put it that way. That's all I'm going to say. I'm very lucky to use them. But it means I can show you the food, what I cook, in some of the finest quality gadgets, tools, what would you call, you know, pans. So, um, you know, it's either you say, well, should I take them off and not film and do my food in these pans, or should I just use them when I have them? And I think the answer is, yeah, we should use them. So, um Okay, so next, but obviously Alexis sells Pampered Chef stuff, so please support her because uh, I do sponsor her and she needs house support as well. So um, go and support Alexis. Okay, so next thing, uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to uh, turn the heat down to its lowest setting. This is for the rice. Leave to cook for 10 minutes, then remove from the heat still covered. Leave to side for 10 minutes until ready to serve, and the rice will con continue to cook in its own steam. Okay, now, oh gosh, we have to make meatballs next. They're very heavy, really, really heavy. Especially this one here. This is so heavy. But, you know, these, I think they must, they're at least probably five or 10 years old already, but they are good quality, and that's, that's the main thing. And uh, they still cook brilliantly. So, is she as well? I didn't realize. Well, I, I, I wasn't sure what time. She probably didn't realize I was coming live. So, if you want to pop on to Alexis, please do. Or if you want to stay here or just watch on the replay, that's entirely up to you. Um, so, while the rice cooks, it says what we're going to do is pop the panko breadcrumbs into a bowl. Okay, so we're going to add panko breadcrumbs into a bowl. So, we've got some panko breadcrumbs here. I think these are panko breadcrumbs. Yeah, panko breadcrumbs. And this is 10 grams. So we're going to add these into the bowl, just like this. Okay, next thing we're going to do then is we're going to add water for the meatballs. So water for the meatballs. Well, on here it says water for the breadcrumbs. One second, water for the meatballs. We need two tablespoons, two, two tablespoons of water. So let's just take normal tap water. So that's one. And that's two. So I'm just following the recipe, everybody. 
aren't you starving? You are cooking late today. Do you know, Lan, I'm so hungry. Although I had a, I had that burger, didn't I, and the chips earlier on today. But that's all I've eaten. And what I, maybe I have some, I think I have some cereal this morning, but I didn't have a lot. So add the water for the meatballs. I'm going to add the lime zest. So let's add the lime zest. All that lime zest that we just made. So let's pop all this in. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're adding the Thai style spice. Thai style spice. I should add the courgettes now, shouldn't I, to the pan? Let's add the courgette. Let's add the courgette to this pan. No oil needed, remember. And we're going to have some charred courgettes. Let's get all these in. Should have done, should have done this about five minutes ago, but never mind. Add all this in. The reason I put you on the windowsill is so that I get a good connection. So if you can't see, I do apologise at the moment. I'll try and bring you in. I think you can see that all right though, can't you? I think you can see that. Okay, so car courgettes are in the pan. No oil needed. Just drop that in. Make sure it's not on too high. So let's add the Thai spice blend. Add less if you don't like heat. So let's add this in. All in there, just like that. Can you all see that? And then, I know you've been waiting for this recipe because I've delayed this so many times <laughs> this week. Um, we're going to season with salt and pepper. And I'm looking forward to this. A bit of salt. A bit of pepper. And then what we're going to add to this is the beef mint. So I forgot to take the beef mint out of the fridge. Um, so what I would say is if you've got any beef mint or any meat that you're using, make sure you take it out of the fridge so it's room temperature. It's not going to make a massive difference, but just be wary of that. So I'm going to take some scissors and we're going to cut the meat. And we're going to you know, season with salt and pepper using hand, mix everything together until well combined from the mixture into evenly sized balls and you should get at least 10 in total. So let's add the mince meat. So let's add the mince, can you all see that? I have to wash my hands. How are we doing everybody? Hello Jess. Is that Jess in the house? I think. Yeah, Jess is in the house. I noticed, did you have two accounts? I'm not sure. <laughs> so I'm just going to break this mince up. Let's break it up just slightly. Now the amount of mince I've got here, we have in total, if I can find it, can't even see it on here. Can't, I can't see it. Oh, 240 grams. So you want to mix all this in, into the meat. So make your meatballs, so mix all that in, get in there with your hands. You want to combine oops, combine all that mixture, get all that flavour, panko breadcrumbs and everything. Really mix it in, get in there with your hands. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to make, we're, there should be 10 in total here, but... And then once the courgette is removed, pop your frying pan back on medium heat with a drizzle of oil and then we're going to add the meatballs. So it might be better actually waiting until the courgette's done. Or you can actually just make them in the pan. So the little meatballs, give them a roll, just like that. I think that's enough. I used to always make these meatballs really big. I never make meatballs, they're always quite big so I'm gonna make these nice and small. Makes you think that you've got more doesn't it? So let me know in the chat what you're doing tomorrow guys and I'll give you a big shout out right now so we know exactly what you're making. Now I know um, Anne was doing um, the ice, I can't remember what it was, Anne tell, let me know in the chat what, what was it you were doing earlier? What were you prepping earlier? So I know exactly what it was. I don't want to get my uh, words mixed up. I'll turn this over in a second. So 
So let me know in the chat also, do you like your meatballs small or do you like your meatballs large? <laughs> that can be, quite, can be quite a personal question, but you know, but does it matter? Nah, doesn't matter, it's Friday. So let's give these a mix. You have to mix it in a bit more or you'll get a few with all the lines there. Yeah, I gave it a good mix. Um, I did give it a good mix. I do real. I did realise afterwards. Oh well. I've got some lime juice though. I mean, in fact, I could. I could maybe get another lime and zest some more lime into it. Whoops. What's rolling away? So I'm not bothered about getting ten actually. I don't mind as long as they're all cooked evenly. I'm, that's what I'm bothered about. I think I made the first one quite big. So Alex likes balls. Okay. And Brenda's doing grilled chicken with avocado salsa. Ooh, that sounds nice. That sounds really nice. So in total, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can tell some of these are quite big. So, oh. do you mean like this one? Look, oh, it's got all that. Let's break this in half. Yeah, we'll make two out of this. Yeah. Oh, these look good. Get these look really nice. Yeah, these looking really good. So there's there's the meatballs, everybody. So we've got ten meatballs in total. Let's wash the hands. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Let's turn these courgettes over because these are cooking nicely. So let's get my tongs. Let me find my tongs. Oh, actually, I can't find I can't find them anywhere. What have we done with them? Here they are. It's a good job you don't see the rest of the kitchen because oh they're stuck. Here's a chard which is nice. So turn these over. No oil needed, remember. Turn these over. Yeah, Brenda, I'm looking forward to that. Well, you're all you're all amazing. I shouldn't just single out some people because otherwise I'll be like, you know. I'm just so happy you all signed up to it, otherwise I thought maybe no one's going to take part in it and I thought this is going to be a disaster, so I'm really happy you all said yes. And let me know as well if you want the same time in July. Okay, I might as well tell you now. So next month, next month, breaking news everybody, July's broad, July's half Saturday will be probably on the 10th of July. Yeah, 10th of July. And the theme will be, are you ready? Are you ready for the theme? You probably all know already what the theme's going to be. What do you think the theme's going to be? Want to know what the theme's going to be? The theme is going to be chocolate. We're going all chocolate. So whether that's vegan chocolate, dark chocolate, help milk chocolate, white chocolate, any chocolate, as long as it got as long as it's got chocolate in it, then that's fine. So whatever you can think of with chocolate, whether you want to make your own chocolates, we're doing chocolate in July, and that will be the theme. So Marhaba, Marhaba Mustafa, Nazilsin, Nazilsin. Evet, you're just speaking Turkish, guys. So make sure to join me tomorrow, as tomorrow perhaps. Okay, so the courgettes are nearly done. I've just turned them over, making sure they're nice and soft. We're doing a Thai meatball curry. I knew it. I was rooting for the plant days. I know. And though, if if any, well, I'm sure at some point, you know. Obviously, I'll, I'll try and do it for like three months or something, and then we might pass over the, um, it's sort of like a, um, I'll pass it over to you, Anne, next, and then you can decide what you want to do, and maybe then we can do plant-based, if that's okay. We'll pass it amongst the broadcasters, so, you know, you get a choice of what dishes to do, because obviously, um, oh, we'll just keep it going and see what happens. So let me take out these courgettes, because these are nearly done. So I'm going to take these out of the pan. These, oh, these are looking beautiful. These are looking beautiful. I just feel like doing a little, uh, a little bit of a dance, you know, in the kitchen. Stop 
before these on. I should be using metal really on these pans, but as long as I'm careful. They smell really nice. Mmm, these are smelling good. I'm sorry you can't see the dish like properly, but here's the charred courgettes. At least I can show you this way. Okay. So what we're going to do next then, we're going to add a little bit of oil. Hello Alexis, I did see you come in. Sorry, I do apologise. Um, I saw your message come up. So we're going to add the, um, pop your frying pan back on medium heat, here's a drizzle of oil. So a drizzle of oil in the pan, let that get nice and hot. The rice is cooking nicely. We've got our meatballs. Once hot, we're going to add the meatballs and fry until brown. You like grilled vegetables, Jess? I love grilled vegetables. I love roasted vegetables as well. So, uh, okay, we're ready. We're going to add the meatballs in. These are getting nice and hot. So, now a little tip for you when it comes to doing anything in a pan, so you know how long the meat has cooked for, go in a clockwise position. So, we're going to add our meatballs in a clockwise position. Okay, that's one, two, imagine a clock, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and then one in the middle, ten. Really small one in the middle. Now it says we need to cook these for five to six minutes. So five to six minutes. You call them coffee. Yes, you do. Yes. Coffee. So hopefully you can see that all right. I can't zoom in unfortunately, no I can't zoom in on, on portrait on this uh, screen I'm afraid but and then what we're going to do is fry until browned on the outside, pop, turn every two minutes, remove to a plate and then pop your pan back on medium high heat with a drizzle of oil and add the carrots and the shallots to the pan with salt and pepper, fry for another five to six minutes so that's the next stage, okay So have we got any questions, anybody? Anything? Yeah, we're doing meatballs. We're doing these are beef meatballs with lime zest, Thai style spice, panko breadcrumbs, and salt and pepper. So five to six minutes shouldn't take too long. So whilst we're waiting, happy Friday, everybody. Let me see if I've got another drink. Yep. Cheers everybody, I'm on this one tonight. This is called uh, French Lager. So, bonjour, ça va, merci beaucoup. Bonjour. Does anybody speak French on here? Well, I know Jeff speaks French. Bonjour. Parlez-vous en français? Parlez-vous en français? Je voudrais... Je voudrais un chocolat chaud, s'il vous plaît. Je m'appelle Ethan et toi. I need to learn some Dutch though. Okay, let's have some beer. Let me get a uh, French accent. speak Spanish. Hola, como... Should I get my Turkish book? Merci beaucoup. S'il vous plaît, hein? Merci vous plaît. Or in French, in, in Spanish. De nada, de nada. Let me open the window because it's getting a bit warm in here. Is it jumpy again? Yeah, it's a little bit. Doesn't like me, I'm afraid. Maybe because it's getting really warm. Let me move you down. Is that any better? So fingers crossed. Right, let's turn these over. Right, so now. So these looking good.
I need, I need like one of these, but in wooden. Oh, thanks, Alex. Thank you. Everyone's like that. Everyone loves. Maybe one day, who knows? Okay, I'm gonna leave them. Keep them cooking along. I'm slightly worried my connection's gonna go off though. Not my connection, my uh, phone, because it doesn't need charging up. Hey, Melanie, how are you doing? I'm making you hungry, Brenda. Think of all that nice food tomorrow. I can't wait to see everybody's uh, food, so. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, I know people have invited me into their broadcast, and I will try my best to come in. You know, even if it's for just a couple of minutes, five minutes or so. So, uh, I know Jay's invited me in as well, so I will try my best. Just to come on for a few minutes or so, or whatever. I will try my best. I will try my best. So, if you would really like me to come into your broadcast. So. Let me just turn this sweet ball over. Mmm. Oh, it's just five. To six, to six. I don't want them to stick. Right, let's see. Oh, yeah, he's looking good. Some of the smaller ones, though, are burning because obviously they're... It sounds really hot, but it smells really nice. Yeah, they were ready to turn over. Oh, these smell really good. I'm steaming up though. Ooh. Come and get a towel. Smoke a water, smoke a water. Let them open the window. I'm steaming myself out here. Yeah, it is, yes, it is, Brenda, yes, beef. Let me turn the pan down. I'm getting too hot. Right, let's check on the rice. Oh, the rice is done. Let's turn the rice off. That rice smells amazing. Jay says, I up. Um, Jay, when you put um, Aiden, put Aiden leaves at the end, because it, it'll tag somebody else. <laughs> Make sure you put Aiden leaves. L-E-E-D-S at the end. Otherwise it might tag somebody else called Aiden and I don't know who that is. So um I always invite the host in case you need to pop up for scheduling changes or instructions. Yes. Yeah, so you if you want to tag me, anybody, just tag me tomorrow and I'll uh, just in case there's any issues or anything. And they'll be there. So Oh these are looking good. So a few more minutes and then they're done. Let's have the beer. Cheers everybody, happy Friday. Let me know in the chat, what is your favourite alcoholic beverage? What is your favourite drink? Do you like lager, cider? Do you like um, spirits, cocktails? Cheers Melanie. Cheers honey. Oh, oh that is delicious. I think these might be done now. So let me get a bowl. Yeah, these are ready, I think. Oh, well, some of them are ready actually. A little bit longer, a little bit longer. Brindelite cider. I know Alexis likes sparkling water. <laughs> With a bit of bourbon. <laughs> Melanie likes, um, oh no, Melanie says hello everyone. Right. I'm sure you like a tickle though. I'm slightly wet, I don't like pink bits in any food, so. Just making sure they're all cooked. I've never heard of that, Joe. Velve Clicho. Clicho, is that how you pronounce it? Veve Clisco. What, what, what type of drink is that, Jay? Let us know. Making sure there's no pink bits. These are breaking up a little bit. So. We'll be alright though. <laughs> We're nearly there.
Okay, I think these are done now. They're a little bit crispy. I'm just checking the middle. Some of these are not. not hmm. I want to make sure these are cooked properly. They smell nice. That's the main thing. Hello, Uncle David. I mean, yeah, David. I need to get some cider on my shopping trip, but thanks for the reminder. What's your favourite cider, Brenda? Remember to go to the broadcaster profile, share out, and give a reaction, yeah, and a heart. Yes, please, guys. Make sure you do that tomorrow as well, because if everybody does that and likes the broadcast and gives a reaction, it will help everybody's, you know, it will help everybody's broadcast go to the top. So if you, everybody that doesn't know about Hat Saturday or, you know, what we're doing tomorrow, they'll be able to find us easily. And put hash, use the hashtags as well so we can find you. Find the broadcast. So these are all done, everyone. Let's get all these, all these crispy bits out. <laughs> Should be using a wooden spoon, really. Let's get all this out. Okay, let's do the next stage. Let's put them to one side. Right, the pan's turned down. What we're going to do next is we're going to add the carrots and the shallots to the pan. The carrots and shallots. Let's get all these on. And then we need to fry these for another five to six minutes. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's get a wooden spoon. How are you, Dave? Are you alright? Are you still there? You have not uh, got bored yet. Have you seen uh, Mr. Biden is in the UK? He's in Cornwall. All these uh, leaders have been coming down to Cornwall. Where I will be in a couple of months' time. In fact, well, a couple of weeks' time, actually. So I will show you a new key and I'll show you Cornwall. Because my family are from Devon, which is not far, literally across, we've got Devon and Cornwall. So most of my family live in Cornwall, in Devon, so not far away from the G7 summit. So, um, so we're just going to fry these till they're soft for five to six minutes. Okay. You can have a little bit more oil if you want to. Just a tiny bit. You love Strongbow? Yeah, I love Strongbow as well. I love strong. I, I like Koffenberg cider and I like, um, what else do I like? I like all drinks, really, <laughs> Brenda. Um, these are cooking pretty quickly, actually. The onions are cooking quicker than I thought. So what we're going to do is add the yellow curry paste to the carrot and the shallot. So yellow curry paste is what we're going to add in next. Yellow curry, yellow curry face. Yeah, yellow curry face. Try not to get that all over my uh, t-shirt. Not too picky. I'm missing so many broadcasts because I'm sorting and packing. I know, Melanie. So you, are you nearly ready now? Then are you all ready? I'm just going to wait till these carrots have just um, softened down just a little bit, but they will tend to be five to six minutes. So, so I'm slightly worried the. Uh, Shallots are going to burn a little bit. Although, turn the pan down a bit. It smells absolutely gorgeous. You yeah, already yet? No. Let's add it in. Come on, let's add it in. So, we're going to add the yellow curry paste, stir well for one minute, and then add in the meatball. Add in the meatballs again. Yeah, and then coconut milk. So let's add in this paste. Oh, wow, this smells gorgeous. We've also got some coconut milk to add in here as well. So let's mix all this in. I know you can't see it very well, but it's so I can get a good connection on here. Let's squeeze all that out. In fact, do you prefer it up there? Is that a better place for 
for the broadcast. Let me know. This is gorgeous. So one minute. And then what we're going to do then is add, add the meatballs. Let's add the meatballs in. And then we're going to add in the coconut milk and some water. Let's add in the coconut milk and some water to this. Ooh. Let's get a spoon. So you add it all in, all the coconut milk. the coconut milk into this oh my word look at this guys i'm hoping hopefully the connection's not going to go off i'll have to move you in a second we've got carrots in here the meatballs let's add some water so we need 150 milliliters of water let's add the water here we go and then we're going to add some chicken stock paste and then we're going to add in some salt and pepper and then we're nearly done the rice is done let's add the chicken stock paste we're going to let this simmer and it needs to simmer for six to seven minutes <coughs> excuse me let's mix all this in and then we're going to let this simmer are you heading off now, Brenda? Okay, no worries. Thanks for coming in, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck for tomorrow. Although you'll I'll probably see you anyway be before then. So, so this is the meatballs. They're all cooked. There's the carrots. Oh, this smells really nice. Um, so add the chicken stock paste, season with salt and pepper. We did do that. Let's add some salt and pepper. Turn that back up, I've turned it off, didn't I? Well, I turned it down. And then simmer until the sauce is thickened and the meatballs are cooked. Once the curry is cooked, stir in the charred courgettes. So I'm going to add them in now because I want them to be a little bit softer. So let's add the courgettes in. Let's add all this in. And then we're going to add a splash of water if it needs it. Remove the pan from the heat, squeeze in half the lime juice. You can then add some more salt and pepper and then sprinkle with the spring onions so that is the dish so we just need to let that simmer away now for for a good five to ten minutes and then we'll serve that with the rice so that is the dish guys hopefully the connection is not going to go well the phone's not going to go off so has anybody got any questions at all should we have a game of i spy while that's simmering while that's starting to simmer so we'll have a game of I Spy very quickly. So with I Spy, you have to guess something in my kitchen or we could go anywhere in the world. So I Spy in my kitchen. What did I Spy in my kitchen? Thank you, Melanie. Thank you. What did I Spy in my kitchen? I Spy with my little eye in my kitchen. What did I Spy? <clears throat> this looks good. Let me check the rice. Take that off now. So here's the rice, everybody. Give that a stir. Oh, it simmers. Oh, yeah, this is definitely ready. So, um, <laughs> Captain Maria says no pants. It's not no pants, no. It's not the chopper, no. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this rice to break it up a bit and then I can cover it over it will steam so what did I spy in my kitchen a bit more water actually 
So was it the glass? No, it's not a glass. No. I'll give you a clue. It's something, something that will be important tomorrow. Something that will be important tomorrow. <coughs> Put a lid over this. So it's not the glass, no. Keep guessing. Oh, this smells really nice. I want to put the lid over the top. Is it the cooker? It's not the cooker, no. You're getting close. You're getting close. Let me get some plates ready. So with this, you'd serve it on a plate. So let's get the plate ready. It's hopefully even you've learnt something by making this curry tonight. Uh, uh, Alexis says the cake pan, not the cake pan, no, not a knife set. Keep guessing, everyone. Keep guessing. Any more guesses? Uh, the tripod? No, it's not the tripod. No, not the saucepan. It's only Alexis and Melanie messaging. Uh, broadcast list? Not the broadcast list. No. Although I, maybe I should have that with me tomorrow, just in case. <laughs> Keep guessing. Chopping board, not the chopping board, no. So something I'm going to need tomorrow. I spy in my kitchen. Something I'm going to use tomorrow. This, is, I think this is nearly done actually. It says half, once you take it off the heat, then add the uh, lime juice. So we do that last. So not the chopping board. Keep guessing everyone. The ingredients, not the ingredients. What's the theme tomorrow? What's the theme? Oh, this smells really nice. There's your clue. What is the theme tomorrow? What am I going to need tomorrow? It is in right. Okay, I've got one correct answer, but I'm looking for the fifth correct answer. So the fifth correct answer gets 50 points. Who's going to get the 50 points? Um, there is a correct answer on the screen. Two correct answers, three correct answers, four correct answers, and the fifth correct answer is Melanie. Melanie wins 50 points. Well done, Melanie. 50 points. You are today's winner. Well done. You get 50 points. So well done, Melanie. Sorry, Alexis. <laughs> so just a bit of fun there. Oh, this smells really good, everyone. Well done. Yes, so tomorrow I'm going to be using my George Foreman grill. Now, I've had my George Foreman grill for about, about five years, and I've used it occasionally. I tend to use the actual... Um, there's like a grill section that you know that goes over the top and then there's like an open section so i'm going to use that for grilled tomatoes for the eggs um maybe for the yeah, for the mushrooms so i'm going to try and use the whole grill tomorrow the grill the sausages and the bacon do the eggs and everything else on the other side so <clears throat> so that will be happening tomorrow so we're really looking forward to that so this smells really nice. So, uh, yeah, sorry, Alexis. Never mind, never mind. There's always next time. So, so basically, we're just making sure the courgettes are soft. Carrots are a bit softer as well. 
but this is nearly ready to serve and I'm worried my battery's going to go flat so let's start to serve so what we're going to do is we're going to take our rice hopefully you've enjoyed this broadcast today and learnt something you could make this yourself do this yourself but try it with other other meat other ingredients so we're going to take a spoon we're going to put the rice on the plate as I say this HelloFresh does use a lot of rice so let's put that on the plate I'm going to put my spring onion just on the side, ready, because I've got another plate here. So this is nearly ready. Give it one last stir, make sure that meat's cooked. And then we're ready to pop this on the top. So it's something different. A lot of it is coconut milk, but I think this is quite healthy. What do you think, guys? Look at that. Make sure you get all that coconut milk. You get quite a lot here as well. So remember to char grill your courgettes first. I probably would do the carrots at the same time to soften them a bit. But that is my Thai meatball curry with the spring onions on the top. Don't forget the lime juice as well. Let me turn this off. Sizzling away. It's something a bit different. But it's something fairly quick. sauce on all the uh, coconut milk so what do we think guys out of 10 what would you rate that dish what would you rate this dish out of 10 let me know in the chat let's add some lime juice on get rid of this get all that sauce out should have um, moved that So what would you rate this dish out of 10, everybody? We should start rating food, I think. So Mel is saying 10, Alexis is saying 8. Why, do you, why would you give it an 8? What do you think it's missing? What do you think it's missing, Alexis? I'm just going to squeeze some lime juice on this, on the dish. So a bit of lime juice and on the other side as well. So yeah, I want to know a rating, but I want to know as well the reason why you would give that score. So, and we're going to do that in future, okay? So, nothing missing. I like foods. You like the food separated. Okay, okay. So there's the dish, guys. Right, I'm going to end the broadcast. Nothing missing yet. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, yeah, we will. We're going to start doing ratings on the food, okay? So we'll make a dish, and then I want the rating as well. Um, not a fan of casserole all mixed together. Fair enough, fair enough. So I shall see you tomorrow, everybody. Sleep well. If you're broadcasting after me before tomorrow, then I shall see you then. If not, I shall see you live tomorrow, perhaps Saturday. Remember to use hashtag. Remember to um, just enjoy yourself. And I will see you when, I'm, when I come live. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. And if you want a discount for HelloFresh, the link's in the bio. <laughs> so catch you soon, guys. Take care. See you later. Thanks for watching.